What if I told you that I have unlocked the secrets to making the greatest sandwiches ever? And here's the jaw-dropping twist. I've transformed these simple, inexpensive vegetables into beloved classics. So get ready to have your mind blown as I recreate the top best-selling sandwiches, delivering mouth-watering flavors that will surpass your wildest expectations. In five easy steps, we're gonna be hotboxing, seasoning, smoking or roasting, the deli cuts and slices, and then building the epic sandwiches. The first step we're doing is cooking it in a Dutch oven, or as I like to call it, hotboxing. So cast iron retains heat and heats it evenly. This is what I love about it. It helps seal in the juices without drying out the vegetable at all. It's great for tenderizing these hard root vegetables and making them super sliceable for these deli cuts. They're great for low and slow heated items. And once they're seasoned, they make an amazing, super easy cleanup. So today we're using celery act or celery root and swede or rutabaga. Two different names for English and for American names. And what we did first was I just forged a bunch of fresh herbs from the garden, popped them into the Dutch oven, loaded up the pot with the fresh celery root or celery act and the swede or rutabaga and then slow roasted them on 200 degrees for about an hour and 15 minutes. And that makes them workable. I used all those herbs in there to help infuse a lot more flavor from the beginning, but we'll continue to cook them and crust them and adding more flavor as we go. This is all about building flavors. Save all the peels to make broths or stocks. And you saw I put a bunch of carrots in there. Those are for Frankie to make dog treats and I also snack on them as well. Anything in the hot box just makes it super juicy, holds its shape. It's a super cool way to cook. So now we're moving on to the crusting. I'm gonna be crusting both of the celery roots with a little bit of onion, granulated and granulated garlic, and a lot of black pepper. So we're black pepper crusted. Just like the roast beef chubs I used to have at the deli I used to own way back in the day, all we're doing is recreating using whole food vegetable. I'm using a little bit of oil just to coat on the outside because I want the seasoning to stick. So for all the no oil people, I don't think this counts too much. It's just a little bit on the side. If you don't want to use this, you can use honey or not honey, but agave or anything sweet. Just you want that to stick, but I also don't want it to burn. So the oil will help seal in the juices and keep the seasonings onto it. For the Swede or rutabaga, I'm using barbecue seasoning, like a, your favorite barbecue seasoning rub. I want to make this into a hot ham capicola style. The two celery eggs, I have two of them, both pepper crusted with the garlic and onion granulated as well. But one of them's gonna be a roast beef and the other one's gonna be smoked turkey. I've had both of those in the deli, same crust, so I think this is gonna work out perfectly. So I'm just heading out back to build a fire and we're gonna be smoking these on the grill. Now I didn't do a video showing the roasting, so if you wanna skip through the smoking part and you don't have a smoker, no worries. Instead of doing the smoking, where I'll be smoking these for an extra hour on a very low temp just to infuse that smoke flavor, if you don't have that ability, you can use your oven on a low heat, I would say 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius at the moment but I would just roast them slow. You want that seasoning to roast onto the chub, and then you're gonna cool it down completely before slicing it or marinating it. Now, because hot boxing and smoking takes a little bit of extra time, well worth it, by the way, but I'm gonna be adding some extra things. So I know I can fit a couple of these onions on here and garlic, which I used to make the veggie pasta dinner video that I just posted up a couple days ago. I'm using those. For a different thing so anytime i'm making any kind of effort to do these really big projects i like to make sure i'm utilizing as much as i possibly can so smoking onions and smoking garlic so good for flavor really amazing always mm -hmm. giving love to miss frankie miss america she is my rock she's amazing to have around such a great little sous chef she eats pretty much anything i hand her such a doll anyways these smoked chubs are looking amazing i'm going to be removing them from the heat and i need to let them cool down completely hopefully overnight or at least for a few hours in the refrigerator to in order to slice them and then marinate them
So if you started, if you decided to roast them instead of smoke them, we'd pick up right here. We'd be chilling these down in the refrigerator and then picking up in a couple hours or the next day to slice them. So we're going to be transforming these into deli slices now. So since we're doing this at home and I'm not in my deli or a restaurant, I don't have access to a deli slicer, I do have a mandolin. Now use caution whenever using a mandolin, I suggest using the guards, although these do not fit under a guard. So I would suggest a cut glove or just be super freaking careful. I see a lot of comments, people saying how it worries them of me doing this. Look, I've been doing this for decades. I take my time. I'm super careful. This is sped up a little bit just because I don't want to force you to watch like slow moving hands on a, on a mandolin. But it makes amazing thin slices just like regular deli meats. Check these out. They're so beautiful. So flavorful. So for the marinade and the roast beef, I have the full recipe down below in this written description. And then also I did the longer version of this video a couple videos back super silent. I wasn't talking. I show in much more detail here. I'm just trying to get through the videos as much as possible and give you as much information with me talking, not my favorite thing to do, me talking through it. So for the flavor on this one sandwich that I make, it was the best seller at Mizuno, the, the deli I used to own in New Hampshire. The biggest selling sandwich was a sandwich called the Californian and had this amazing curry mayo on it. So we would just mix curry powder with mayonnaise and you have to make it like, so it's really flavorful, which it just adds so much to the sandwich. So the first sandwich we're making is this hot smoked beast. Amazing. I'm gonna be caramelizing some onions up with it, sauteing and searing the marinated slices, just like I would do at a deli shop. There used to be a uh, not, it's not Arby's, but I can't remember the other name, the name of it, but it was amazing. They would just sell hot roast beef sandwich. So I'm just recreating that. Everything's coming from classic, what I've used to eaten or used to make and making it vegan. And these, I tell you, if you want to open a vegan deli, you pop these on your menu, you're going to blow some minds and you're also going to make margin because these vegetables are super inexpensive. It just takes a little effort. But if you're doing them in large quantities, I guarantee you you'll be making money. I know if I'm going to open another deli or a restaurant, these will be on the menu. Every one of these sandwiches are winners. So I'm using the Wicked Kitchen smoked Gouda cheese on these. You know, pro tip, if you want to melt the vegan cheese, just add a cover to it with a little bit of, make sure there's some kind of steam in there to help steam it and it melts super nice, just like this. Load it up with some mayo, some vegan mayo, some Dijon. You got those caramelized onions, the hot, spicy smoked beef, smoked beast with the black pepper crust. Delicious. A wafer thin onions and then fresh homemade pickles. Now I show all these extra extras in the last video that I did uh, that I did that was silent. Here, I'm just not going to waste my time. You can go back to that other video and watch if you want more details. I'm definitely not shy about digging into what I make. I love the food that I create. I wouldn't make it and show you on video if I didn't love it. So I know that all these recipes that I'm showing you are tried and true. And this sandwich was delicious. I'm always taking time to go play with Miss Frankie. And for all you weirdos who tell me that I shouldn't touch my dog and touch food, this is my freaking house. I'll do what I want. I always wash my hands before I touch the food. I'm very clean. I'm OCD clean. Yeah, all right, enough of that. Back to this. This is an extra bonus sandwich. You take some super firm smoked tofu or regular tofu, slice it super thin, heat up a hot cast iron pan, and I'm going to make a really delicious breakfast sandwich out of these super thin slices of tofu. And just saute them or sear them with a little bit of oil or a little bit of butter. Uh, I haven't thought about this for the no oil ones. You could probably just pop them in the oven with a little bit of water just to give it that because you want it to be a little bit crispy. You know, the oil does that. If you don't have to use a lot. I like to think of using oil as a tool, not as an ingredient. It just helps everything cook a little bit better and as long as you use a minimal amounts it works for me 
So again, just sauteing those off, a little bit of seasoning, melt the cheese on there, some fresh raw onion. I like to mix up the cooked onion with the raw onion. You get all those different textures and flavors and snaps and crunches and bites. It really does make a difference. This sandwich is amazing. So I didn't actually eat this because I ate the roast beef one earlier. I made a lot of these in the same day. So I'm just packing this into a paper bag and I'll have it in the morning. All right, so next morning, I've already taken Frankie out for her walk. It's time for breakfast, make some coffee to my favorite mug. Pop that sandwich into the microwave. It's also super hot, but it is delicious. Man, this is great. Diner food, deli food, whatever. I, I can't say enough about how good these sandwiches are. Next one we're working on is a pepper crusted smoked roast beast. And this is just your normal cold roast beef deli sandwich using some fresh veggies some crisp sliced tomatoes tomatoes whatever you want to call them some fresh lettuce some shaver, shaved shaved <laughs> super shaved red onion and then i also made some of this cucumber cashew dill ranch dressing and that is in the other video the silent one i've mentioned before a couple videos back if you want that recipe that's in there. It's delicious on salads and, and sandwiches as a spread. So I like load it up with the fresh sliced deli meats, the chub. Super good. Also adding the fresh pickle. This sandwich was super refreshing and super filling. Really, it's just, you know, visually it's beautiful. Texturally it's there. Knowing it's healthier, it's not an animal, it's not packed with nitrates and antibiotic crap this is freaking whole food plant-based magic and it's delicious and next up is the Californian so if there's one sandwich I had to pick to make and I would request you make it would be this one this the top selling sandwich that I used to sell it's topped with avocado you have curry mayo on there uh, mung bean sprouts, not mung bean sprouts, the little baby ones, the tiny sprouts. <laughs> they call them salad toppers over here. They don't sell them singly. They just call them salad toppers in England. But back home, alfalfa sprouts. That's it, alfalfa sprouts. So avocado, alfalfa sprouts, some lettuce, some onion, the curry mayo, a little bit of vegan cheese, avocado, toasted. We used to do it on toasted marble bread, which I couldn't find here. So I'm just using a toasted, seeded, whole grain bread. Super delicious. This sandwich, yeah, I had my friend Steve over, he had one. He said it was the best sandwich he's ever had. That's high compliments. I encourage you to make this. I encourage you to make all these, you guys. Get in the kitchen, play with your food. There's nothing hard about cooking plant-based. I don't know why more chefs aren't doing it. I don't know why there aren't these amazing options on a deli menu anywhere I go. I, I'm, this is it. Here you go. The recipe's right here. Add them to your menus. Make it so we don't have to eat animals anymore. This is the solution. It's super delicious, freaking healthy. I can't tell you how awesome these are. Look at that cross cut. It's beautiful. I also added some vegan bacon on here. I tried a new brand in the UK. I'd encourage trying any of the brands that are out there, all the new plant-based brands. Support plant-based businesses. It's a good thing. Yeah, and this, delicious. You know, doing these voiceovers is pretty funny. For a guy who doesn't like to talk at all, I'm, I find myself talking a ton right now. Anyway, this is a hot ham sandwich. Found these amazing whole grain focaccia breads I have bakery down the road so I'm just popping a little bit of vegan mayo on, on here some Dijon mustard that's how I like it I'm going to be serving this with the pickles and shaved red onion and a bunch of that hot ham right on here made out of the swede or the rutabaga and we're just going to pop this in the oven wrap it up in tin foil pop it in the oven 200 degree oven 200 degrees celsius oven for about 20 minutes until it's nice and hot and gooey inside and this is delicious my dog Frankie loves the vegan cheese. If I even touch that package, she hears that noise. She comes running. She always wants some. She's pretty freaking crazy. Amazing. 
Anyways, wrap this up, pop it in the oven, and then we'll be enjoying it in a second. So if you like these recipes, I also did a full Italian deli sub recipe. I did a, a little ways back. I'll link it below in this description. If I can figure out how to put it on the screen, I will. That is also another no oil option, but it's also just a vegan magic deli sandwich that is freaking awesome. I gotta come up with some better words. Awesome, amazing, unbelievable, incredible, epic. This hot ham right here, so good. There was a little bit too much bread for me. I ended up slicing uh, the top off so it wasn't as much bread. And just making some croutons out of that. This is a great slider though. You could slide, that piece of bread was so big I could have cut this into eight pieces and been totally satisfied. I did end up eating though, this over the next few days. So freaking good. The hot ham, oh, it would be amazing. Just pop it in the microwave at work or, or whatever and just bring it with. So I'm gonna be ending this episode with Frankie just hanging out. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, send to your friends that you wanna make fresh deli sandwiches made from plant-based whole ingredients. We got you covered. If you want to see me make anything else, please put the suggestions in the comments below. I do try to read all of them, and then the full recipe will be in the description. And I hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot, guys.